It gives me a great honor to introduce Senator Schumer. I first met Senator Schumer 20 odd years ago in a debate in Long Island when he was Congressman Schumer. He represented Michael Dukakis and I represented uh, Senior Bush. Uh, Senator Schumer has been a great friend of the Albanian people and he is as well as the greatest spokesman of our time for the Jewish people. And you, we as Americans, Jewish Albanians, Jewish Americans and Albanian Americans have no better friend and I'm proud to introduce Senator Charles Schumer. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. And it's great to be here and I appreciate the honor of being here. I'm sorry I'll have to be brief, it's a busy day. I wanna thank Ron Rettner as well as Karen for sponsoring this great lunch and being co-chair. I want to thank, of course, uh, Rabbi Stone, who's done a great, great job in the Jewish community. And at the top of the list are the people who really helped forge the friendship between me and the Albanian community, and that is uh, Joe and Shirley Giaguardi. Thank you for your uh, great work. Nanette Lantos has been a friend of mine. Her late husband and I came to Congress in 1980, and Rabbi Potasnik is from Brooklyn. So what more can I say? <laughs> um, it is great to be here, and I'm here for two reasons. First, in general, I believe in New York and believe in America. And one of the great newer communities in New York is the Albanian community. And they are fulfilling, you are fulfilling the American dream. Many of you came here without much money, and you worked hard. Many of you started off, for whatever reason, in the bil working in buildings. People started as doormen and janitors, but they worked so hard that they came to own small buildings and more buildings and larger buildings. And one of the linchpins of the real estate industry in New York, as well as the people who bring back so many communities in the Bronx and in Queens and in Westchester. We are going to welcome you to Brooklyn. We don't have enough Albanians in Brooklyn, <laughs> where I live, but is the Albanian community. So as a New Yorker and as an American, I am so proud of this growing and burgeoning community. And we say to those in Albania, come to New York, come to America. The more Albanians there are in America, the better America is. The second reason I'm here is the wonderful history between the Jewish people and the American and the Albanian people. Let me just say, yesterday I introduced Senate Resolution 601 celebrating 100 years of Albanian independence. The resolution commends the people of Albania and Kosovo for protecting and saving the lives of Jews who lived in Albania or crossed her borders seeking asylum during the Holocaust. You saved, because of your generosity and your ecumenical spirit, thousands of lives. At the end of World War II, listen to this, at the end of World War II, where six million Jews were brutally exterminated, Albania was the only country in Europe with more Jews than when the war began. And that speaks to your hospitality and your bravery and your humanity. And at great risk to many Albanians and the safety of their homes and their country, the Albanian people protected the Jewish people and proved to be a rare land in Europe where religious prejudice would not be tolerated. Albanians came from three faiths, but Muslims and Christians alike stood by their Jewish brothers and offered a safe haven for a continent's worth of refugees. And so today, as we celebrate 100 years of independence, Albania is even stronger and more diverse and remains America's trusted ally. 100 years of celebration certainly calls for more. And so I say, here's to 100 more years of great Albanian independence and growth. <laughs> to all of you, Gezuar.
Did I say it right? Okay. Thank you.